Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video. It's gonna be quick uh, because a lot of people have been asking me about the SBR that, uh, that I have that has come out plenty of times on a lot of the pictures that are on Instagram and on Facebook. And so um, people have been asking me, I'm surprised how many people have asked me if I could do a quick rundown on the SBR that shows up on our pictures. And I'm assuming that it's this one. It's an AR rifle. Uh, it is an SBR. It's a 300 blackout. You know, I'll be breaking it down real quick. Again, it's not gonna be a long video on exactly, you know, what it is. Uh, it is a built uh, from scratch. You can't go to a store and buy something like this. Um, and I did this about four years ago, so it's an older build, uh, but it's one of my favorites, man. This is a real nice gun, and it shows up on the pictures very well, very nice. And again, a lot of you have been asking about this and maybe just kind of give you guys a breakdown on it, so um, here it goes. Again, it's an AR platform rifle. Uh, it is an SBR. It's based off of a Salient Arms um, lower and upper. And so that's what I'm running. It's a Salient Arms lower and upper. It's in uh, Salient Arms International, uh, just to be uh, correct on that. And I'm also running a Salient Arms bolt carrier group on there and the Salient Arms charging handle as well. So uh, it's not loaded. It's not loaded, guys, all right? Uh, so that's basically the lower and upper. Forgive me guys, I've never done anything like this. I am not an AR aficionado. I don't know, I'm not an expert, right? So uh, forgive me if I'm bouncing back and forth. I've never done anything like this. The only reason I'm doing this, again, is because I've been getting a lot, a lot of messages, uh, especially direct messages on Instagram and through Snapchat asking me about this gun, man. So here it is, this is what I'm doing. It's got a nine inch barrel and it's an AAC barrel. It's direct impingement. So the gas block is also AAC. So I'm also running a suppressor. The suppressor is a Surefire SOCOM suppressor. Uh, it's a 30 caliber suppressor. Let me take this off. There we go. Nice. So, you know, Surefire makes great stuff, man. This is bulletproof. It is a little on the heavy side, but um, you know, running it off of an SBR, you're already shaving down a lot of weight, so uh, I'm cool with that. I probably would have loved to run it off of a, you know, maybe a Surefire SOCOM Mini or something like that, but uh, since it is a 300 blackout, the intention for this rifle is to be as quiet as possible. That's why I went with a 300 uh, blackout round. It's subsonic, and so, and that's why I went with this, you know, with a full-size suppressor, just so that I can get, you know, um, the most quiet shooting uh, SBR uh, that I could possibly get. So uh, that's why I'm running it that way. I am running uh, muzzle brakes, Surefire muzzle brake, the SOCOM muzzle brake. So that's that, let me put this back on. This is fairly simple, guys. Um, I haven't been keeping up with the latest stuff out there as far as suppressors and all that. I've been so busy running Bravo Concealment, but I'm sure there's a lot of good suppressors out there. Um, when in doubt, I just go with a good name, Surefire again. They've been around for a long time and they make excellent products. So um, that's the suppressor. As far as the red dot, I am running a name point. It is a micro T1. Uh, so I think it's two MOA. So uh, it, it's good enough. I've, I've, I've shot this thing. I have a video uh, where my son, he's not, I don't think he's running this. No, he's not running this rifle. I think he's running a LaRue but he's shooting uh, with an aim point like this and uh, he's shooting at 100 yards, small plate, I think it's an Ipsic, small target plate, and uh, he's hitting dead on and I think he was about like maybe eight years old, seven years old when, when, when I shot that video, so that's pretty cool. These aim points are awesome, they're solid, they're always gonna work, man. It's, it's pretty much, it's, you know, if there's anything 100%, you know, aim points it, man, uh, as far as it running, and uh, doing what it's supposed to do. So that's the red dot. Oh, and I also have it on a LaRue quick detach. So this is pretty cool. And again, this was built four years ago. I think it was about four years ago. So I don't know if these things are in. I don't know if they're still cool or not. Uh, it, it holds it zero. Uh, LaRue, again, another company that makes great stuff. Um, I've been out of the game for a while, guys. So I apologize if I'm talking about things that maybe uh, are not popular anymore or anything like that. But hey, man, you know, LaRue makes great stuff and I really like their quick detach. I have them on a lot of my red dot optics uh, on scopes as well. So LaRue's legit. Uh, one of the things is 
what you want to do is, and again, this is this is old news. <laughs> this isn't like not that it's old news, man. But uh, this is what I learned back then: is you want to run it, uh, you know, as far forward as you can on the upper, your red dot or your scopes. Well, I don't know about your scopes, uh, but your red dots, um, without them creeping into uh, the handguard area. So again, man, it is what it is. Uh, take it for what it is. Uh, I just run a business. I'm not a mercenary or anything like that. So, so again, uh, basically this uh, is was built for fun, but it's obviously uh, you know very operational and very useful if needed. I'm running Knight's Armament uh, front and rear sights, folding sights. I can't remember exactly the name of these sights, but they're Knight's Armament. The trigger, the trigger is a AR Gold trigger from American Trigger Corporation. I really liked it. Number one, aesthetically, it goes, it's gold, right? So it goes, it's gold, so it goes uh, with the bolt. And at the time, uh, LaRue was selling these on their website before LaRue came out with their own trigger, their, uh, what is it? Their meticulously built trigger, their MBTs. That's a nice trigger too. I have that on a 308 rifle that I have. It's an air platform as well. Solid trigger, works great. I've never had any problems with it. Uh, it's light, it's crisp. I think it's a three pound trigger or something like that. It's like super awesome. Uh, so, and it's gold, so it goes with the Salient, Arm, uh, uh, Salient Arms uh, bolt carry group. So um, I went with that. Let me see what else. Okay, so the handguard. I said that the barrel is a nine inch uh, AAC barrel. The handguard is a Knight's Armament URX4, and this is an awesome handguard. It's real slim. You know, I'm a big guy, so I have big hands, uh, so I can wrap my hands around uh, pretty much any handguard out there, but uh, I really like this. It's just low profile, uh, and it's a great handguard. And when this, when this handguard came out, it was very popular because of the key mods. I don't even know if key mods are in or not, but again, back then they were. And so, um, very nice handguard. The light that I'm running is a Surefire light. It's a Scout. It is, yeah, it's a Scout light, and it's got it's got the pressure, um, the pressure pad right there. So there you go. That's pretty much it, man. What am I running the Scout light on? I I have it attached to a Noveski mount, light mount. I don't know the exact name of that light mount, but it's a Noveski light mount. Um, the buttstock is a Magpul. Um, nice buttstock, simple, nothing crazy. Um, and then I'm running a BCM a Mod 3 grip. Uh, it's got the angle on it. It's just more for the modern day uh, shooter. So um, I really like the angle on it. It's not, the handle's just a lot more comfortable. It doesn't have that, um, that aggressive angle on it. Uh, it just feels great. Um, I don't know, man, it, it, it just feels very good. It, it's not straining the wrist or anything like that. So um, that's what I'm running there. The handguard uh, covers are Knight's Armament covers as well for the key mod. I'm trying to think here, guys. Um, that's pretty much it, man. That's really pretty much it. Uh, again, it's a great gun. Uh, it's lightweight. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on it. The suppressor makes it a little bit heavy, um, but it's a great gun. I love shooting it. I've never really had any problems with it. It wasn't cycling well once, but uh, I just went in there, I cleaned it up, and I think I replaced the buffer tube. I can't remember what buffer tube I'm running right now, but uh, it runs great. Uh, it's a great gun. Uh, I love it, man. It's, it's one of my best builds. Um, the guy who built it for me, was, uh, I think it was George Ian or Ian uh, from boltcarrier.com. I don't think they're around anymore. So, uh, but he did an awesome job. I think it was from Florida, if I remember correctly, uh, because these, one of the things about the URX rails is that you need special tools to put them on. It's not something that you can do in your garage, unless you have the tools, uh, then obviously you can, but those tools aren't cheap. They're, they're a little bit pricey. And if you're just gonna do one build, might as well just send it off to somebody. So I send it off to this guy, did a phenomenal job on it. Uh, again, haven't had any issues with it. How many rounds have I put uh, through this? I don't know, not a whole lot. When I built this rifle, I think that's when the Sandy Hook shooting had just happened, or it was around that time. If you guys remember back then, it was very difficult to buy any round, and the 300 Blackout, basically, it just went scarce. I mean, you, you couldn't find it anywhere. 
but you know now it's back obviously and so i've maybe put about maybe two three thousand rounds through it never had any issues except that one time where it just started jamming on me but i cleaned it and it started running good i did some more research on it and i changed the buffer tube on it and that was it man she runs like a champ so there it is guys for everybody out there that was asking me about this rifle there it is i hope i did a good job if you have any questions please uh, leave comments below if i messed up anywhere because again you know this is not my forte man this is not what i do uh, although i have built some rifles uh, for the most part i sent them off to get completely built if you have any questions or if i mess up somewhere please correct me I'll leave a comment below all right guys um thanks again for watching i'll talk to you guys soon